Go on, lads, and yourselves. Richie Hogan calls you a fair bit of hardship down through the years. Oh, stop. <laughs> he and a long list of them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> David, there's only one place to start. And look, I mean, it's it's kind of the talk of the town in terms of, of GEA. But, and Johnny Glynn's certainly a good fella any time I've chatted him. But this incident from the Ardra and Sarsfields game, it's definitely caused an awful lot of conversation. And Look, I'm sure it's not characteristic of the man, but it just doesn't look well, does it? No, and like it, it's, it's it's a red card, like you know what I mean. At the you know, no matter what way you look at it, um, I suppose it's just as you said, it, it might not be characteristic of the man, but it's just a moment of madness. I suppose he's probably you know, I don't know if he, he I still can't get confirmed whether he's commuting back from New York or what, and things probably weren't going their way, and maybe he was a bit frustrated. And like these are only ex- excuses, like because there's no, there's actually no, um. There's no reason like for for that kind of behavior all the same um i suppose in, in terms of general like for the match officials um at, i was at the game and initially like it's from our vantage point to banner slow i don't know if you've ever covered a game there but it's quite hard to see um so it, it like even at half time i thought it was just a you know not that really it was just a bit of wrestling and you know a bit on the ground and a bit of you know the usual kind of the crack that you get at club games um so when you know i looked at a bit of the video at half time and i saw how bad it actually was um yeah, it's you know what I mean. Like there's there's no defending it really. Like he's, I suppose no one know more than himself when he wakes up this morning. Like what, you know what he did, and you know there's plenty of people online probably referring to him as a, as a a scumbag and all this kind of thing. The usual thing you get. Like but, you know, um, just just moment of madness, Shane. Um, I suppose just to, like I, I wouldn't defend anyone in the situation, but maybe the the match officials like he, he couldn't really I couldn't really blame Connor Quinlan. Um, like he. He went to his line, both his linesmen, he went to his umpires. None of them, like, obviously saw exactly what happened. So, like, I'd always say, like, if the officials didn't see it, like, you can't send them off. Like, yeah. regardless of the marks there, I'd rather, I'd rather the air and the caution rather than make some crazy decisions. So, um, from the referee, I see the referee was getting some bit of abuse as well, which I thought was a bit unfair because, like, there was a lengthy stoppage. I'd say he spent two, two and a half minutes, really, going around to everyone, trying to, trying to gather the necessary information and, made his decision then and I suppose it's the usual GA, you know, cop out really in a way it's like two yellows and you know, you kind of get on with it. But I, I, I don't know it's I don't know but to be honest with you lads, I don't know will there be any further thing on it really. Like it's if he's depends. dealt with at the time if he's dealt yeah. with at the time, if he hadn't booked him at all, he could they hmm. could go back re- retrospectively. But I don't know if they can now. And just on your point there, David, like in fairness, if the if the officials didn't see it, they didn't they didn't see it. Like um yeah. there's not really much they can do. But it was yeah, the optics of it looked absolutely horrendous. Like I don't know, um we, we were we were in uh, we were in Liverpool one time in Pop World and we were acting the maggot and we got thrown out and one of the boys got grabbed by the windpipe and he mm. was in bits he was in bits for about two yeah. days now we, we probably deserved it to be fair but what, the area Johnny was in around is very dangerous to say mm. to say the least like and uh, your your man the, the cornerback looked like he was in bits after it as well it, it was a definite red card if the officials didn't see it they didn't see it but you'd have you would have to say it was uncharacteristic behaviour. For Johnny Glynn, I, I've never seen him do anything like that in his, in his whole career. Um, and he's probably, uh, the fact that it was on TG Catter means that this is gone mm. probably around the world. Um, but it was definitely a red card and it was a very, very unsavory incident. Yeah, I remember Absolutely. one time, like he was in college with my and my brother, I think, but like I remember shaking his hands down at the launch or something once and his hand was just absolutely colossal. And I wouldn't say I had little Trump hands down myself, but his were colossal uh, beside mine. But, 